Hello everyone and welcome back to Survive Roleplay here at hand. I see mine's gone down and we've changed headers. That's because we bought the wrong header, but no worries, we send it back, got our 50 grand back, spent 40 grand on this header. This is a three point uh, was it three point six meter header? Something like that, so we can have a little look here. Uh, yeah, 3 meters. So 4.6 down to 3 meters. And yeah, the reason for being is because this can do corn, the other one can only do the grass. And what else could it do? The usual wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, sorghum, and sunflower. So also, we've gone ahead and got a new trailer. We sent the other trailer back, we sold it, and got about 4 or so grand, I think. And we've got the Durante Trader. And we fitted the 45,000 year silage body onto this, so now we can make some silage. And also, we're in March because I thought let's wait a month or so, see if the grass grows a bit more. It has into a third state, so we'll go ahead and get that done today as well. But first of all, we need to get this all sorted. As you can see, chaff is spewing out. We put slightly additive into the tank. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much slightly we can get from this because I'm actually interested. Also, the soybeans have grown a bit more. I perhaps will fertilize that a little bit. That wasn't properly fertilized completely, just to make sure we get a nice growth out of it. So you can only get as much money as possible from that field. Even though we didn't roll it or anything, but I didn't think we mulched it either because it was grass for previously, so... But that is perfectly fine with us, and already we are at 5,000 litres. Just for doing this little pass here, so we're going to get quite a bit of silage, I think. But also, speaking of which, we won't be using soil clamp. Oh, no, 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 no. Because in the month that we've skipped ahead, there has been an addition of a fermenter. Obviously we pay um, a monthly maintenance fee or ma yeah, I think it's a maintenance fee or just a fee to have it running as we can have access oof, bit of a jack, jack knife there. Or something like a hundred pounds or so a month, so it's not saying that a bad deal for us, so I'm not complaining the hair. Not complaining in the slightest. But yeah, so what we'll go ahead is I'll just continue on this for a little bit. We'll get the first load and then we'll take this over to the fermenter and start fermenting some silage. load going into the biogas plant and not biogas plant um the dryer fermenter so we have a little look here at the computer system filling up a little bit of chaff obviously nowhere near to the capacity also you can put straw in hay and grass in and over here is the silage indicator and as you can see that is 
gone up to just shy of 45,000 now and that is converting that into silage. So we have a little look here, it is a 1 to 1 ratio which is good. 1,000 for 1,000 and that repeats 204 times a month so potentially we can get 204,000 years of silage here. And if we have a little look at our PDA system over here, if we go to the fields, if we look at the field as it is now, once it's updated, see that was one though, so I think we'll get another, I'll let's say two, I'll say three those, two full loads and perhaps a third or just about three full loads. Actually, it's still quite a chunky bit there, so I'm still thinking of three full loads. But imagine if we used all of this as corn. That's the thing I may do after soybeans, I may plant that as corn. Possibly. Not the same thing for sure, because we don't know yet, but. Yet, the grass is ready to be mowed as well. But yeah, definitely on the right track of progress. That's a nice little path that's been put in as well. But yeah, so hopefully this shouldn't take too long. I think I'll do one more time out of another load, then we'll do a little jump cut of me getting the rest of this done, I think. And then, yeah, I think from there we'll have a look at selling some eggs and depending on how much money we get at the end of the day from selling some silage could just start looking at getting some new equipment because how much is storage at the moment if we go down to here about 350 350-ish so if we get 200,000 litres that's going to be what another 80 grand or so 75, 70 grand something like that so yeah we are really looking good that's just from this small patch of land. Just imagine if we expanded, but one step at a time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Get us all done. And similar with the grass mowing, we'll go and get that mowed. And then we'll pick up with the forage wagon. And then we'll dump it into. There we go, just make sure everything's all aligned. Yeah, put into the forage wagon and then take the 20 or so thousand year loads where the max capacity is out of time to the fermenter because yeah also if we each get a like hundred thousand years off silage from that field yeah we're looking really good and I do mean really good set for money but that's all gonna take time so yeah we'll get us done and I'll see folks in a couple of hours perhaps and here we go, we are just about done. We skipped ahead till the next morning. Let's put the times back up to times three and oh boy, we've made a bulk of those silage that fermenters going well. Um, I mean really, really well for us, especially now where sort of halfway through I've got a bit of an idea from it because as it stands, this is just grass. However, if we dump this into our bunker soil clamp, then pick up again, that'd be classified as chaff. And just to show you how much we've made so far, if we go down here, we've made 210,000 litres. That's not including the 45,000 litres already in the trailer. From the chaff itself, from the maize corn chaff, We've made 184,000 litres. So that means the rest of this is just from the grass. So, what's that? Let's say 176, 184, 194. So we're looking at 230, 235,000 litres of grass as silage. That's just for them to grow an extra day, because before we had, was it, 115,000, 120,000 a year, so... 
Yeah, I would have thought then it basically grow an extra day, would have doubled the yields. Surely that's not correct. But what I'll do next time is, it's going to be ready to mow again tomorrow the grass, so I'll mow it tomorrow. I could do a nice fair comparison. But yes, this wind rower has made all the difference. So what I'm going to do now as well is we say dump this over here. I will tie up everything again at some point. Mine's gone down a little bit, so we're at 2772. But we've got about 20,000 litres of eggs. Well, no, 20,000 pounds worth of eggs. Wish we had 20,000 litres of eggs, but we do not. So just go and repair everything. And also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the standard tires back on this. Because there's some chaff left in the soil clamp that we'll need picking up, and we've got the front loader somewhere over there. But that's saying like how much size we're going to get from this is absolutely astounding. Like the grass itself fermenting, that's going to take another day in the bit. Yeah, 70, yeah, so it's about 70,000 litres we get a day with the grass fermenting into silage. With the chaff, that's going to be done way before the end of the day. I'm not sure I do mean by quite a bit actually as well. So there we go. I fear this should work. If we pick it up and then dump it into the top of this, it should work. And so if we sell this at say like 350 per foul, that's gonna be quite a bit of money. <laughs> oh, Why you've tipped over? You were straight earlier on. Why you've gone and tipped over now? There we go, that's a good front loader. Bad front loader, do not turn around. No, don't, don't tip over. There we go. But I think with all this money we're going to make, and actually some of this can be invested because we have been asked by the local council to do um, a little bit of a forestry contract. So I'll explain more in the next episode. But basically, obviously with the town being developed at the north part, or south part I should say, of the map, obviously they want some trees cut down and rather than paying someone to come in and do it. They said if we put the money in, invest it into whatever equipment is needed, so something like a tree harvester perhaps we may need to potentially fork out depending on, it really just depends on how much trees they want us to cut down and what land as well. Come on. But they says whatever trees we cut down, we can keep ourselves. However, that does mean forking out potentially a lot of leasing costs. So if we're gonna have to lease a lot of money, f lease money for equipment, then we need to make sure we cut down quite a fair few amount of trees. But anywho, that is the last load of chaff, and now. We've got the cornfield to deal with afterwards, thinking... Not sure what crop we'll plant here next, but obviously we need to mulch it. That's going to take a little bit of time to mulch all the fields and that, or the two fields. But yeah, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic where we can go from here, and we can start really looking at paying the loan off, and then... I was thinking, I think if we get the loan paid off, wait a couple of months, then potentially, you know, go back to the bank, ask for something like a quarter of a million pound loan, then with that money we can really invest in the farm, we can invest it in a brand new silo, some more sheds, more land, more equipment like a second tractor or something, just little bits of that, but as well, we could look at getting greenhouses, as I mentioned before in last episode, but 
so many different options and yeah so many options and yeah it just really depends on where we go from here Into the sea factory. But yeah, that forage horse was definitely. Would have paid itself off. It was just about paying itself this year. Actually, yeah, yeah, it would have just about paid itself this year. So when we do corn again, it's literally going to be just pure profit. So yeah, 45,000 years. Plus another 213,000 years and going up. That's going to be what? I should do the math here quickly. 2, 213, 283, 284, 285, 385, 392, let's say. We're looking at well over like 440,000 years of signage. That's a big hole. That's not pretty much our biggest hole yet. So, what's that going to be? If we try to do the math, eh, let's say 440,000 years of silage. We're looking at somewhere in the region of 185 grand? I oh, know. 185 grand. And that is a very impressive hole. And on that note, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'll see you next time, we'll see if we hear anything about the forestry contract. And yeah, we'll just make some sort of some signage at some point. I may just do it in one big old session, so I may wait tomorrow to do it, potentially. Because we can sell the eggs off today. Yeah, sell the eggs off today, get the 20 or so grand. That should be enough to cover the decent cost of any equipment we may need. If not, we just sell a load of slides or two. But yeah, I need to do some research into the local trees. I know a lot of these are spruce trees, so we should be fine with chopping some with the tree harvester and that. But I've had issues in the past <laughs> with tree harvester equipment, as some of you may know. But that's going to be for another day. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider. But, very cheers to do. Hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this is me for my voice stream. And I'll see you all very soon.